In this tutorial, I'm going to see which is larger, 5 fourths or 7 sixths. So which is larger, 5 fourths or 7 sixths? And that's what we're going to figure out. First, let's start with 5 fourths. I'm going to take a circle and put it into four pieces, and that's what that four in the denominator means. Five means I need five pieces. Again, I have four pieces. One, two, three, four. But I need five. So I add one more fourth to give me five fourths. Again, each of these pieces are one fourth in size. So I don't know what happened there, but anyway, each of these pieces are one fourth. And if I take one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, this will equal five fourths. Just count the ones, one, two, three, four, five. Another way to look at this is you have one full circle and one fourth. So this equals one and one fourth. One circle plus one more fourth. Now let me show you seven six. We have a circle and we cut it into six different pieces. That's what the denominator means to cut it into six pieces, the six there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. I need seven. So I need to add one more piece or one more sixth. So I have seven pieces. And each piece is equal to one sixth of the pi. So like before, it's one and one sixth. So I have one and one sixth. Now if I take these two equations, 5 fourths, and to remind you, I took the circle and put it into four pieces. And for 7 six, I took a circle, one circle, and I cut it into six different pieces. This really leaves me with the comparison of what's different, which is the pieces, those two pieces right there. And clearly, 1 fourth is greater than 1 sixth. So it turns out that 5 fourths is greater than 7 sixths. So now you can see that 5 fourths is greater than 7 sixths. And that's the answer to the question.